Why do we always compare smoking weed to drinking alcohol? According to the Washington Post, cigarette users with less than a high school education make up 20% of all adult cigarette smokers, while marijuana users with less than a high school education account for 19%. Cigarette users making less than $20,000 annually account for 27% of all cigarette use. Marijuana users from under 20K households account for 29% of all users. Obviously, those numbers show comparing cigarette smokers to marijuana smokers isn't a waste of time. Alternatively, those numbers are significantly higher than the percentage of alcohol drinkers with less than a high school education, 8%, and drinkers who make less than $20,000 a year, 13%. Casual smokers make up a majority of marijuana users, but they do not consume a majority of the marijuana. Most marijuana is smoked by those who partake daily, much like pack-a-day cigarette smokes, and those people tend to be less educated and from poorer households. So, if weed gets legalized in more states than Colorado and Washington, it would likely affect and control users who are educated and well salaried in a different way than users with less control, less money, and less education. Legislation would have to be similarly multi-pronged to prevent the socio-economic rift from growing, and growing.